We're going to go back to our form letter and take a look at some of the more advanced options that you can use when doing a mail merge. The first thing we might want to do is sort our merge so that when we print these letters or labels or whatever it is, they're all in a certain order. We might want them to be sorted by zip code or last name. The way to do this is we're going to go over to our filter recipients section and click on the options button. We're going to click on the sort records button up here and here we can choose sort by zip. Maybe we want a secondary criteria, sort by zip and then by last name. And if I click OK, when I complete this merge, the letters are going to be in the order of the zip codes. You can also add a filter to the merge. Let's say I only want to send this letter to students coming from Massachusetts. Again, I'm going to go to Filter Recipients and click on the Options button. And here under Filter Records, I'm going to choose the field state equal to MA for Massachusetts. Here you want to be absolutely sure that what you're typing in is going to exactly match what's in your spreadsheet. I'll click OK. And so here if we preview our records we can see that we're just seeing students from Massachusetts. And if I complete this merge that's all we're going to get. To get rid of a filter and go back to seeing all the records, I'm just going to click into my filter options again. And here on the filter screen, I'll say clear all. If I want, I can add wording to this letter that changes depending on a certain criteria. Let's say that I want all the students living in Merrill to contact Joe Schmo if they have a question, and I want all the students living in Dakin to call Jane Smith. I'm going to delete this area here and just leave it saying please contact. And here in insert placeholders, I'm going to click the more button. This gives us some other options. And the function I'm looking for here is called if then else. So I'm going to drag one of these over and it's now going to ask me how I want to set this up. So I'm going to set this up to say if the field name dorm is equal to Dakin I want it to say Jane Smith. So this sentence, if a student is living in Dakin, it's going to say if you have any questions please contact Jane Smith. If they're not living in Dakin, I want them to call Joe Schmo. Um, so this is only good for kind of two criteria. But if I click OK, I can preview here. Okay, here's a Merrill person, they need to call Joe Schmo. If I just preview through. Okay, here's a Dakin person. They're calling Jane Smith. 